Guys, what's up? It is Doug and welcome to Spooky Villages and today we are going to talk about an accessory. Yeah, uh, you know, normally on this channel I don't talk about accessories or at least give them their own dedicated video, but uh, there's a Michaels exclusive this year that I think warranted it. A lot of people have commented asking about it and um, I, I didn't actually plan on buying this one this year, but with that 40% deal that's going on, uh, that's been going on out there, those the, the code, um, I wound up getting this one. Couldn't resist. Let's uh, Let's talk about it. Here's the box. Here's the grime and slime spring. I keep wanting to call it the grime and slime fountain. People online, it seems like they talk about it like that. So I keep wanting to talk about it. I had to actually look at the back here so I called it by the right name. But you can see with this box here, I mean, this isn't really an accessory. It, I mean, it is, you guys know what I mean. Um, it's bigger than your average accessory. And it's uh, frankly, uh, some of the stuff going on here is more than some of the houses even that they've had as far as the standard lit. So let's show you what it looks like. So here it is guys, check this one out. Um, comes with this battery box here, so you can put double A's in it, or you can run a power adapter right over here. That's actually what I'm doing. I tested it out and it works fine with the batteries too. I know with accessories, a lot of times people do like running the batteries versus the houses. Um, so before I actually show you what this looks like lit up here, um, I actually got this for the 40% off coupon plus I had Michael's rewards for $25. So all things, uh, you know, out the door, I got it for like $11. I, I could not resist it for that. So check this out. Look at this guys. It's a very spooky fountain. Uh, it's this skull here. That's basically, you know, I mean, it's a fountain, but it looks like it's puking like toxic waste, something like that. Uh, you've got the back here is a brick facade, the front, very heavy metal style piece on this one, but you've got the details here is like a lizard, a big snake here. And you've got this dude sitting here that looks like he's just kind of drinking grog. Um, I don't really know what that's about per se. I think this would have actually looked cooler if it was just the fountain without the dude here because it works for more themes that way, but it uh, looks pretty cool nonetheless here. Again, it's big, uh, you know, large for an accessory. So now there's no sound on this, but let's show you what it looks like lit up. The lighting on this is stellar. Uh, the way it looks like it's kind of that running water, that cascading LED, they, they really did a good job with this as far as the lighting goes. And I got to tell you that seeing this lit up i think i saw it lit up in like a facebook group or something because my local michaels actually did not have it running uh, my local michaels this year it's crazy how they've been picked over already i think people are taking advantage of some of these coupons and some other things and they're shopping early because there's just a lot of stuff sold out but nothing has been animated so again i saw this on a facebook group um or you know and i actually might have been one of my friends even uh, who posted a video of this in the groups. I've got so many like messages going on right now in spooky season and the groups that I kind of lose track of what's what, but I know that I saw this online basically running and it looks spectacular. And I love how this looks lit up. I mean, this, this looks beautiful. I really don't even know what I'm going to put this with as far as like a theme, because, um, you know, I'm going to kind of just ignore that dude out front probably because I don't know that it really goes with the themes I'm going after. Um, but it looks great, you know, in spite of that, uh, that I, I think it'll theme well with different things you just kind of can ignore that now of course if he goes with your theme it's not a negative but that's just my opinion on it just personally because otherwise I think it's almost a perfect little accessory piece so it's a Michaels exclusive this year and you know it seems like every few years Michaels does an exclusive that is absolutely top-notch uh, this is probably my favorite of their their dedicated um, exclusive accessories they've done since I think since that pumpkin truck a few years ago, and it's been a while since they've done that one. And that one wasn't animated or anything. Um, it was just kind of a still. So they've done a great job here. Of course, this next year will be available as a standard mainline accessory. So um, it's not exclusive past this year, but I don't know. It just looks really good. And again, uh, my Michaels didn't have it going. So um, kudos to whoever I saw uh, that posted the, the video of this because it just, it sold me on the piece and I had to have it, which again, I don't really know what I'm going to theme this with per se, but I want it in my arsenal to have, um, because it's going to look really good by itself in a display. Um, you know, it really stands out. I don't think the lighting is garish or anything on it. Um, I think there's just enough here because that skull also, it's got the red lights on the skull. Uh, it just looks scary. It's a very scary looking piece and, uh, it's macabre kind of silly. Also the way it looks like the skull is like, uh, you know, vomiting, that um, the toxic waste or the green water. My kids love this one. They laugh at it, but they also think it's scary. So uh, I think that's one of the sweet spots for Lemax Spooky Town to be is when they have that scary, but also 
you know, a little bit silly, uh, a little bit outlandish. I, I really dig it. All right, guys, you let me know what you guys think below. I'm really curious, you know, if a lot of these were sold out there. Uh, also, it's interesting, um, you know, listening to you guys comment on the videos about what it's like at your Michaels, what the, uh, what the experience has been like if you've ordered online. I've done all mine store pickups, so I've not ordered anything online this year. Uh, and I've liked it better that way, frankly. It's just been easier going up to the store. So uh, plenty of buildings coming up here, guys. But I had to interject here and put this accessory because I love it. And again, after I got it with uh, the big 40% off coupon and all those micro rewards, I can't beat it for $11. <laughs> That's what I got it for personally. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to my Patreon subscribers. And uh, I'll see you guys real soon.